season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, powered by Horlicks, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Power Castle and MetLife Aliko. I'm Rumana Malik Moonmoon, along with our official pronouncer, Mr. Zunad Ravani. We'll take you through this journey. Spelling Bee is not just a spelling competition, but it is a way to build confidence and leadership quality in our spellers. I have to admit, it takes a lot of courage to participate in such a competition in the national media. So hats off to all our spellers and we thank them to be a part of this show. Shara Desh Khure, Amra Khuje Pechi, Amadir Bahatur Jun Top Spellers Dei, Jadhe Ke Niya Chol Chhe, Amadir Ek Quarter Final Round. Aaj Ke Amadir Shathe Jog Diya Chhe, Chhojan Participants, Tadir Shathe Puri Chito Habo, Tabi Tar Aage Jani Dei, Amadir Champion Speller Ejo Nho Kiki Aapikha Kore Chhe, Amadir Champion Speller Ejo Nho Aapikha Kore Chhe, Spelling D Season 2 Eri Chomut Ka Trophy, Shai Shathe, Washington D Season 2 Eri Chomut Ka Trophy, Shai Shathe, Washington D Season 2 Eri Chomut Ka Trophy, Shai Shathe, Washington D Season 2 Eri Chomut Ka Trophy, Shai Shathe, Washington D Season now it's time to get introduced to our six participants. First, we have Zera Noreen Khan from Maple Leaf International School, Dhaka. Reading storybooks is her favorite pastime. Welcome. <laughs> Viewers, we have given wildcard entry to few spellers based on their outstanding performance in the divisional rounds written test. So here's our wildcard speller. Isaiah Tripland Heaven from Scholars International School representing Rangpur and painting is his hobby. Our next wild card speller is Novera Rahman from Anandunikiton representing Sulat and photography is her hobby. Wonderful. <laughs> next we have Kazi Rafid Ahmed from Sunbeam School, Dhaka and reading is his hobby. Good. After that representing Chittagong we have Mansif Tasin Orko from Chittagong Collegiate School and he likes to do debating. Okay. Our last contestant, Saif Rahman from the City School, Dhaka, playing video games is his favorite pastime. Welcome everyone. Get ready because we are going to start our first round, which is Spell It. Spell It. A round it, one of the first words spell it. Within 20 seconds, you have to start the spelling. We'll be giving you English meaning, but if you need other clues like Bangla meaning and parts of speech, you'll have to ask for that. If you get the word correctly, you'll get 10 points. And if you can't, don't worry, we won't cut any marks. Okay, so you can relax a little bit in this round, but yes, you can take this chance to get your 50 points at a go. So get ready. We will start with you, Zara. All the best. Zara, the first word for you is surfeet. Surfeet. Surfeet, and it means an excessive amount of something, especially eating. Surfeet Sur is the word. You've got more than 10 seconds. Surfeet. Uh, S U R F E I T. Surfeet. That is correct. Very good. 10 points. The second word for you is yacht, and it means a medium sized sailboat equipped for cruising or racing. The word is yacht. Yacht. Y-A-C-H-T, yacht. That is correct. Ten more points. Good going, Zira. The third word is Wallaroo or Wallaroo. And it means a large Australian kangaroo. Start. Um, Wallaroo. Uh, W-A-L-L-A-R-O-O. W -A -L -A -R -O -O, Wallaroo. Very close, but that ah. is not correct. The correct spelling is W-A-L-L-A-R-O-O. -O. Wallaroo or Wallaroo. The next word for you is desuetude, alternately pronounced as desuetude, and it means a state of disuse. Um, desuetude, D E S W I T U T E, desuetude. I'm sorry, you came very close, but that is a wrong answer. The correct spelling is D E S U E T U D E, desuetude or desuetude. Zara, the final word for you is kvass, and it means, especially in Russia, a fermented drink low in alcohol made from flour and bread. Kvass or kvass? Kvass. C A V A S S E. Kvass. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is K V A S S. Kvass or kvass? Well tried, Zara. 20 points from this round. Well tried. Moving on to heaven, ready? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, all the best. Heaven, the first word for you is quotient or quotient. And it means a result obtained by dividing one quantity by another. The word is quotient or quotient. The spelling is Q U O T I E N T. Quotient? That quotient. is correct. 10 points. Good start, Heaven. The next word for you is cappuccino. Cappuccino. Cappuccino, and it means a type of coffee. C A P A T U O N O. Cappuccino. I'm sorry, that's way off the mark. The correct spelling is C A P P U C C I N O, cappuccino. The third word for you is invigo. Invigo, alternately pronounced as invigo. And it means persuade someone to do something by means of deception or flattery. I N V A E G L E. Invigo. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is I N V E I G L E. Invigo or invigo. All right, heaven, take a sip of Horlicks. Take it. Get set. Ready? Yeah. The fourth word for you is light motif, and it means a recurring theme throughout a musical or literary composition associated with a particular person idea. Light motif. Light motif is the word. L I G H T M O R T I V E. Light motif. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is L E I T M O T I F. Light motif. The last word for you is Vandu's, alternately pronounced as Vandu's, and it means a saleswoman special in the fashion industry. V U N D O O S E. Vandu's. I'm sorry, that is not correct either. The correct spelling is V E N D E U S E. Vandu's or Vandu's. All right, well tried, Heaven. You got 10 points from this round. Moving on to Novera. Ready? All the best. Novera, the first word for you is pungency. Pungency. Pungency, and it means having a sharp and caustic quality. Pungency. P U N G E N C Y. Pungency. That is correct. 10 points for you, Novera. The next word for you is requiem. Requiem. Requiem, and it means, especially in Roman Catholic Church, a mass for the repose of the souls of the dead. Requiem, R-E-Q-U-E-U-M, requiem. That was close, but that was wrong. The correct spelling is R-E-Q-U-I-E-M, requiem. The next word for you is sovereign, and it means a supreme ruler, especially a monarch. Sovereign. Sovereign. S-O-V-R-E-I-G-N, sovereign. I'm sorry, you missed an E in the middle. The correct spelling is S-O-V-E-R-E-I-G-N. That was a wrong answer. The next word for you is Zaibatsu. And it means a large Japanese business conglomerate. Z-A-I-B-A-T-Z-U, Zaibatsu. Almost. But that was a wrong answer. The correct spelling is Z-A-I-B-A-T-S-U, Zaibatsu, alternately Zaibatsu. All right, well tried. Last word for you. The last word for you is stroganoff, and it means a dish in which the central ingredient, typically strips of beef, is cooked and a sauce containing sour cream. Stroganoff. stroganoff. S T R O G A N O F F. Stroganoff. That is correct. Well done. Very good. You got 20 points on this round. Very good, Navera. Moving on to Rafid. Rafid, ready? All the best. Rafid. The first word for you is apprehension. Apprehension, and it means anxiety or fear that something bad or unpleasant will happen. A P P R E H E N S I O N. Apprehension. That is correct. Good start. 10 points, Rafid. The second word for you is prophesy, and it means to say what will happen in the future. P R O P H E S Y, prophesy. That is correct. Well done, Rafid. Ten more points. Going for the third word. Rafid, the next word for you is cuneiform. And it means 
denoting or relating to the wedge-shaped characteristics used in the ancient writing systems of Mesopotamia. C-U-N-E-I-F-O-R-M, cuneiform. That is wonderful and that is correct. Very good, 30 points still. The fourth word for you is seish. Seish, and it means a temporary disturbance or oscillation in the water level of an enclosed body. The word is seish. You've got more than 10 seconds. S-E-C-H-E, seish. Very close, but that is not correct. The correct spelling is S-E-I-C-H-E, seish. Rafid, the final word for you is vaudeville. Vaudeville, and it means a theatrical entertainment. V O D A V E L. Vaudeville. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is V A U D E V I L L E. Vaudeville or Vaudeville. Well tried, Rafid. You got 30 points. Well done. You can be slightly happy. Rafid, look at me. Yes, I want to see that smile. Moving on to Orko. Ready? Okay, all the best. Orko, the first word for you is acquaintance. Acquaintance, and it means a person's knowledge or experience of something. A C Q U I N T A N C E. Very close, very, very close, but that is not correct. The correct spelling is A C Q U A I N T A N C. Acquaintance. Second word for you is splenetic. Splenetic, and it means bad-tempered. Say the word. Splenetic. Right. Splenetic. S-P-L-E-N-A-T-I-C. You missed it by a single alphabet. That was a wrong answer, and the correct spelling is S-P-L-E-N-E-T-I-C. Splenetic. The third word for you is feign. Feign, and it means pretend to be affected by a feeling of injury. Fein, you started with F E I G N. Fein, that is correct. There you go, 10 points for you, Arko. The next word for you is Nogahide. Nogahide, and it means an artificial material designed to resemble leather. Nogahide. N O G G A H I D E. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is N-A-U-G-A-H-Y-D-E, Nogahide. The last word for you is Zouave, and it means a member of a light infantry corps in the French army. I'm sorry, is that Zouave or Zouave? Zouave. Zouave, Z-U-A-V-E. Nice try, but that was the wrong answer. The correct spelling is Z-O-U-A-V-E, Zouave, alternately, Zouave. Well tried, Orko. 10 points from this round. You tried it, so good. Okay, going for Saif. Ready? All the best. Saif, the first word for you is biennial. Biennial. Biennial, and it means taking place every other year. You've got more than 10 seconds. B-I-E-N-N-I-A-L. Biennial. That is correct. Very good. 10 points. The next word for you is supercilious, and it means Behaving or looking as though one thinks one is superior to others. The word is supercilious. Um, S-U-P-E-R-C-I-L-I-O-U-S, supercilious. That is correct. 20 points, slide. The next word is anachronism. And it means a person, a custom, or an idea that seems old-fashioned and does not belong to the present. A-N-A-C-H-R-O-N-I-S-M, anachronism. That is also correct. Wonderful. Very good. The fourth word for you is clientele, and it means customers collectively. The word is clientele. C-L-I-E-N-T-E-L, -E -E clientele. You miss an E at the end. The correct spelling is C-L-I-E-N-T-E-L-E, -E -E, clientele. That was a wrong answer. No problem, last word for you. The last word for you is Vichyssoise. Vichyssoise, and it means a soup made with potatoes, leeks, and cream, and typically served chilled. The word is Vichyssoise, you've got around 10 seconds. 
V I C I S O I U S Vishiswas. I'm afraid that is wrong, but nice try. The correct spelling is V I C H Y S S O I S E Vishiswas. That was a difficult one. Yes, that was indeed. But anyways, you tried well and you got your 30 points from this round. All right, we are done with our first round. Get ready for the second one. But we'll have to take a short haul next break. Don't go anywhere because there are some more exciting rounds waiting on the other side of the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back after the break. You're watching the quarterfinal round of the second season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, powered by Horlicks, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with Power Castle and MetLife Alico. বিরতিতে যাওয়ার আগে আমরা প্রথম রাউন্ডটিতে শেষ করে গিয়েছি দ্বিতীয় রাউন্ডে যাওয়ার আগে আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন স্পেলারের প্রাইজেসগুলো আরেকবার আপনাদেরকে জানিয়ে দিই আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন স্পেলারের জন্য অপেক্ষা করছে চমৎকার এই ট্রফি সেই সাথে ওয়াশিংটন ডিসিতে একজন অভিভাবক সহ ভ্রমণের সুযোগ ও পাঁচ লক্ষ টাকার ম্যাথ লাইফ অ্যালিকো শিক্ষা বিমা চলে যাচ্ছি আমাদের পার্টিসিপেন্টসের কাছে দ্বিতীয় রাউন্ড শুরু করার আগে লেটস টেক এ কুইক লুক অ্যাট স্কোর্স জেরা অ্যাট টোয়েন্টি পয়েন্ট ওয়েলকাম হেভেন অ্যাট টেন পয়েন্ট Novera at 20 points, good. Rafid, 30 points, very good. Also, you have also tried well, 10 points. And Saif at 30 points, very good. Okay, get ready for the second round, which is spell high. Spell high. In this round, you'll have to crack five words. The first word is a four letter word. These four letters will be repeated, but you just have to add one more letter as you go down the hive. The hive is for 50 points. We will give you the first letter of the first word. If you ask for a clue, we will provide you with the last letter of the first word. In that case, you will play the hive for 45 points. Now remember, you have to crack the first word first. After that, you can move on to any other word. All right? You'll get 90 seconds to complete your hive. All the best to each one of you. We'll start with you, Zara. Zara, here's your hive on the screen. First word starts with a C, and the first word means the central part of an object. The second word means to win points, goals, etc. in a game or competition. The third word means a part of an area or activity. The fourth word means a ship that sails from a port to port along a coast. And the final word means a person in your family who lived a long time. And the time starts now. Do you need the clue? The first word, its meaning is the central part of an object. You have enough time. If you want the clue, ask for it. The meaning is the central part of an object. Words, I think we should give you the clue. Oh, uh, no, I don't need the clue. Are you ready with the first word? Yeah. Go for it. Um, C-O-R-E, core. That is correct. Ten Go points, on. move on. Um, the second word is S-C-O-R-E. That is also correct. Move on. The meaning of the third word is a part of an area of activity. You put around 20 seconds. Add just one letter. How about the fifth word? A person in your family who lived a long time. Five seconds left. Any guess? Ancestor. Spell it. Um, A-N-C-E-S-T-O-R. That is correct. Wonderful. Okay. 30 points from this round. Let's take a look. What were the two words? The third word that you missed was sector, S-E-C-T-O-R, and the fourth word that you missed was coaster, C-O-A-S-T-E-R, coaster. Well done. Moving on to heaven. Ready? Yeah. 
All the best. Heaven, the hive is on your screen. First word starts with a C, and the word means any cereal plant grown for its grain. The second word means melodramatic or sentimental. The third word means colored chalk or wax used for drawing. The fourth word means a word formed from the initial letters of other words. And the final word means a state that has a king or a queen, and your time starts now. If you want the clue, ask for it. The first word is corn, C-O-R-N. Wonderful, that is correct. Ten Move on. Points. The third one is crayon, C-R-A-Y-O-N. That is also correct. Ten more points. How about the fifth word? A state that has a king or a queen. You've got more than a minute. Add one letter to the first one, you'll get the second. Or deduct one from the third one, you'll get the second. I'm giving you the meaning of the fourth word, which is a word formed from the initial letters of other words. The second word is R-A-Y-O-N. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Move on with the fourth and fifth one, quickly. The fifth word means a state that has a king or a queen. Look at the meaning carefully. Ten seconds left. You can do it. Last five seconds. Yes, any, any guess? Kingdom, K-I-N-G-D-O-M. Okay, your time yes. is up. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The fifth word that you got it wrong was monarchy. M-O-N-A-R-C-H-Y, monarchy. And the fourth word was acronym, A-C-R-O-N-Y-M, acronym. And the second word which you didn't get was corny, C-O-R-N-Y, corny. Well tried, Heaven. 20 points okay. on this round. Okay, it's Novera's turn. All the best, Novera. Novera, the hive is on your screen. The first letter of the first word is a C. The meaning of the word is feel concern or interest. The second word means to find something by looking carefully for it. The third word means to make something happen or exist. The fourth word means to burn a dead body. And the last word means to make something soft by leaving it in a liquid. And your time starts now. Is the first word care? C-A-R-E, care? That is correct. Ten points. Is the second word trace, T-R-A-C-E? Wonderful, that is also correct. Ten more points. You've got more than a minute. The meaning of the third word is to make something happen or exist. Is, this, is the third word create, C-R-E-A-T-E? That's who is correct. Ten more points, good going. Add one more letter. Um, is the fourth word cremate? C-R-E-M-A-T-E, -E, cremate. On a roll, that is correct. Very good, you have enough time. Get ready for the fifth one. The meaning of the fifth word is to make something soft by leaving it in a liquid. You have enough time, take your time, look at the meaning carefully, add one letter to the fourth word, you'll get it. The meaning is, to make something soft by leaving it in a liquid. Is it macerate, M-A-C-E-R-A-T-E? -E? That is a nicely built pyramid and the correct answer. Whoa, that was wonderful. That's like our champion, Novera. Beautiful, 50 out of 50. Very good. You just guessed the last word? Yes. Oh, come on. Wonderful. Wonderful. Moving on to Rafid. Ready, Rafid? Yeah. Okay, all the best. Rafid, the hive is on your screen. The first letter of the first word is an R. The meaning of the first word is involved in a situation. The second word means people of greater age, experience and authority. The third word means a difficult or unpleasant experience. The fourth word means done with great difficulty. And the last word means very attractive and easy to feel love for. And the time starts now. The first word means involved in a situation. Do you need a clue? We will give you the last letter of the first word. You 
You've got more than a minute. Crap. I, sure. The last letter of the la first word is an E. And it means involved in a situation. The first letter is an R and the last letter is an E. Do you have any other word in your mind for the rest of the words? Okay, just grab the first one. Go for the first one. Say something. Say something. Go for the one you know. Race. Spell it? Oh, R-A-C. It's not. Okay. I'm sorry, it's not correct. Move on. The second word means people of greater age, experience and authority. The last one is adorable. A-D-O-R-A-B-L-E. Wonderful. That is correct. Move on. Deduct one letter from it, you'll get the fourth one. The fourth one means done with great difficulty. How about you try the second one? Which means people of greater age, experience and authority. Look at the meaning, you can do it. Yes, yes, any words. Ah, and your time is up. Okay, okay, no problem. You got 10 points. Not bad. Rafid, the first word that you didn't get was roll, R-O-L-E. The second word that you missed was older, O-L-D-E-R. The third word was ordeal, O-R-D-E-A-L. And the fourth word was labored, L-A-B-O-R-E-D, labored. Okay, Sorry well that. tried. Yes, well tried. No, don't worry. Moving on for our next contestant, Orko. Orko, the hive is on your screen. First letter of the first word is a G and it means a man. The second word means a person whose job is to manage the affairs of other people. The third word means nullify or make ineffective. The fourth word means between 13 and 19 years old. And the last word means to produce or create something and your time starts now. The first word means a man. Let us know if you need the clue. You've got more than a minute. Can I have the clue? The last letter of the first word is a T. The first letter is a G and the last letter is a T. Look at the meaning. It means a man. Do you know any other word of the high? Yes, uh, let's go the first word, good. G-O-O-T. Let's go. I'm there. sorry, that is not correct. Move on. Okay, How about this, the, uh, the second, uh, second one is... Um, a person? Uh, I'm sorry, the last one is generate. Then? A G E N E R A T E. That is correct. Ten. Move on. Okay. And between uh, 13 and uh, 19 years old, that's t a teenage. Spell it. T E E N uh, A G E. That is correct. Ten Move on. Points. The third word means nullify. Um, M A N A G E. Okay. What's the word? A manage. Oh, no. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Okay, and your time is up. Okay, no problem. You got 20 points from this round. Let's find out the words you've missed. The first word that you got it wrong was gent, G-E-N-T. The second word that you missed was agent, A-G-E-N-T. The third word that you missed or spelled wrong was negate, N-E-G-A-T-E. -E, negate or negate. All right. Well tried, Orko. Now it's our last contestant, Saif. Ready? Yes. All the best. Saif, the hive is on your screen starts with an N and the first word means used for breathing and smelling things. The second word means loud, unpleasant and or disturbing sound. The third word means damage to the skin caused by injury or by illness. The fourth word means a female lion and the last word means the quality of being holy and your time starts now. The first word is N-O-S-E, nose. That is correct. Move the second on. word is N-O-I-S-E, noise. That is also correct. The fourth word is lioness, L-I-O-N-E-S-S. -S. That too is correct. The fifth word is holiness, H-O-L-I-N-E-S-S. -S. Wonderful. That is also correct. You have enough time and you can do it. The mm -hmm. third word is lesion, L-E-S-I-O-N, lesion. That is a wonderfully built hive. That is correct. So, you got and this is the first time we have got two spellers scoring 50 out of 50 in Spell Hive. Amazing! Like a champion. Wonderful. This brings us to the end of our second round. Get ready for the third one.
And viewers, it's your turn now. The word for today's episode is ancient. The spelling is A N C I E N T. Ancient. Apnara joto icha tao to SMS amader ke korte parin sentence toh hi kore. Just make sure that each sentence is unique. Kibabe patha the hobe shetu janiye dite. Apnader mobile er message option hi ke type korun S B. Ek space diye sentence to type kore. Send it to one six two five two A number. Amra apne khaya chhe apnader SMS er apnader jo na apne khaya korte chhe amader attractive shop prizes. So ek khun SMS korun amader kache. Chole jate chhe. छोट्ट <laughs> फेसबुक Facebook. dot com slash spell Bangladesh. There you can play the spell Bangladesh game and win attractive prizes by beating your best friend. आज के लॉगन करों एवं देखों ना अपना English spelling skill develop हो चुकी ना। चलो यार चाहे हम दे participants से करते हैं। Third round शुरू कर रहे हैं तो हम दे scores तो बोलने चाहिए। Zero at fifty points, well done. Seven at thirty points, good. Navera, outstanding performance in the spell hive at seventy points. Rafid at 40 points, very good. Orko at 30 points, good. And Saif, another outstanding performance from you in the spell hive at 80 points. Now get ready for the third and final round, which is spell buzz. Spell buzz. This round is open for all. This is a buzzer round. तो आधे शाम ने दोस्ती एलो मेलो भावे छोल लेटर एक वर्ड आज पे 30 सेकंड्स इन मध्य यू हैव टू गेट द करेक्ट वर्ड नाउ सिंस दिस इज अ बजर राउंड व्हेवर प्रेसेस द बजर फर्स्ट विल गेट द चांस टू आंसर बट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट यू हैव द करेक्ट वर्ड इन योर माइंड बिकॉज़ इफ यू प्रेस द बजर एंड यू डोंट गेट द करेक्ट आंसर और यू जस्ट मेक अ मिस्टेक देन यू विल बी गेटिंग माइनस 5 सो प्लीज बी वेरी केयरफुल दिस इज अ वेरी क्रूशियल राउंड ए राउंडर पॉड आम्र जानते पार बो तुम्हारे मध्य थे के कौन दुजन टॉप स्कोरर्स आमदे शाते जो कर बे सेमीफाइनले सो कॉम डाउन रिलैक्स एंड देन गो फॉर इट ओके ऑल द बेस्ट द फर्स्ट बस वर्ड इज़ ऑन योर स्क्रीन यस साइ आई एम पी ओ आर टी इंपोर्ट दैट इज़ करेक्ट सेंट पॉइंट्स Now let's have a look at the second boss word and it is on your screen. Once again it's I E N O U G H enough. That is also correct. 10 more points. And the third boss word is on your screen. T in fact that is correct 10 points for you well done now the fourth buzz word is on your screen yes it's heaven h o t e l s hotels that is correct 10 points And the next buzz word is on your screen. Heaven. R E N T A L. Uh, rental. 
That is correct. Ten more points. Good heavens. Here's your next buzzword on your screen. Yes, why? The word is Kindle. K-I-N-D-L-E. That is correct. Ten more points for you. Let's take a look at the next buzzword on your screen. Once again. The word is deputy. D-E-P-U-T-Y. Deputy. Wonderful. That too is correct. The next buzzword is on your screen. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. It's Rafid. Yes. R-E-L-O-A-D. Reload. Wonderful. That is correct. Ten points for you, Rafid. The next buzzword is on your screen. Novera. L O C K E R. Locker. That is correct. Ten points. Good. And the next buzzword is on your screen. R-E-A-S-O-N. Reason? Wonderful. That is correct. Very good. Before I declare the results, let me thank you all. We thank you for being a part of our show, for being such amazing spellers. Thank you very much. Now the results. I'll start with Mansip Tasin Orko. You've tried well and you have scored 30 points. Well, after that, we have Kazi Rafid Ahmed at 50 points. Well tried. Next, with the same score, we have Isaiah Tripland Heaven. That is 50. Well tried. After that, we have Zara Norin Khan also at 50 points. Well played, Zara. And now, our two top scorers. First of all, this is the first time we had two spellers in the same episode scoring 50 out of 50 in Spell Hive. Wonderfully played and it was amazing seeing you too. So you deserve to go to, to the semi-finals. So ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you our two semi-finalists from this episode. First, we have Novera Rahman from Anunduniketan representing Sulat at 100 points. Congratulations, Novera. And then Saif Rahman from the City School, Dhaka, at 120 points. Congratulations! I'm the PGSC Aro Dujun semi finalist came. Saif Rahman from the City School, Dhaka, and Novera Rahman from Anunduniketan representing Sulet. Congratulations. <laughs> Today's episode was an exciting one for us. I'm sure you all have enjoyed watching it. Agami Parvum, Akirakami Hobbit, our guarantee Ami did. Sitai Afna and Miss Corbenna, Chok Rakun, Channel Air Pordai, Putti Budbar, Ebum, Rushutiba, Shunda, Shatta, Ponchash Minute. Bidania Raga, Ragba Jani, the only champion speller Kiki Petajatse. I'm the champion speller Jun Opeka Kochi, Chomutkar, spelling this season to a trophy. She Shate, Washington DC, Jun Ovi Habuk Shaho, Promuner Shujo, O Pach, Lok Kotakar, Met Life Aliko, Shik Kavima. Agami Parvin, Istri Amad Shate Jok the Ben. Till then, join us as we say goodbye, spelling. Oh, I say, can't you take one look at it or not?